So in the sixth grade, I was playing soccer with my friend, and uh, the town the school was in was about you know, two or three thousand people up in the, in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. So it was pretty much surrounded by pine forest, and uh, so we kicked the ball over the fence and, and during lunch hour or something, and we uh, ran over to get it. One time I was drowning and Grandma came and pushed me up against a rock and got me out of the water and I didn't drown. All of a sudden in the, in the trees and the light spots of, between the trees I could see these little dots moving back and forth and I thought, I remember that instant when I thought to myself, what are those? And it was immediately followed by the stinging and more stinging and us screaming and pretty soon we were running, running down um, further away from the school down to where this, uh, down towards like, some houses and, and a road. And uh, when we got to the road we were, we were uh, knocking the bees off of us because one or the other of us had managed to step on a, a yellow jacket's nest. And, and actually I didn't get him out his, uh, that Wilma's nephew got him out, but I made him come back. And so at the end, my, I'd been stung about uh, 14 times, and my friend had been stung 22 times. Was, I think we had a good time counting how many stings we had on our bodies. But uh, in the process of running away, I had actually run out of one of my shoes. What was his name? Kenny? Kenny Brown. Yeah, Kenny got him out. I didn't think Kenny got me out. I think I was pulling him down. No, he pushed you over where you could get out. Instead, my dad drove me up the road that we had run down uh, the next day and told me to go back in the woods and find my shoe and to not come out until I had found it. It didn't matter how much I protested to the fact that, you know, uh, you can't see through the ground cover and I had no idea where the bees were and it's quite possible that I would just go back and step on the same bee's nest. He said, we're not buying you new a pair of shoes. Uh, go back in there and, uh, and find your shoe. And so I did.